Good morning and welcome to Mykines, the capital of the Mycenaean civilization. I hope you can see it here behind me on the hill, uh, the citadel that existed from 1600 BC through to about 1250 BC. But we're not going there today. I have wanted to find a Mycenaean road that ran from here to Epithavros for the last year. And along that Mycenaean road, there are a couple of unknown Mycenaean bridges, a couple of the oldest bridges in the world. So we're going there today. It's about a five kilometer hike over round the back across the mountains. I hope you enjoy, I hope it's worth it. Now this is not, I repeat, not meant to be a video about McInnes, but having climbed up here, I can't appreciate these views and not share them with you because it's astonishing. Absolutely fabulous. Still climbing, about two kilometers now, and views of McInnes, probably 99% of people have never had. As you can see everyone goes in, no one ever comes over here. Not easy to get to. You can see how defensive it was. There's a huge gully down here. You have to climb up that gully and then 1400, 1500 years before Christ, you had to assail these walls. Not an easy thing to do. Amazing. And also very large, much larger than you think it is from the front. So just to finish with Mykines, one final view, the Argolithic Plain. Look at the thickness of these walls, a good six meters. Same as Tirith. Just astonishing views that as a tourist, you would never ever have the privilege of seeing. Just amazing. But we're going up this way. Now I keep saying we, because I'm with a friend today, doesn't want to be in the video, but we're going up here because I want to find a Mycenaean road. There was a Mycenaean road linking Mycenae here with Epithavros on the far coast, about 35 kilometers. And it was a military road. It had various bridges built along it, including the Archidico Bridge, which some of you will know is the oldest currently in use bridge in the world, dating to about 3,300 years ago, about 1300 BC. And I did a video on it with its twin, because it has another one, almost identical, about um, a kilometer, a kilometer and a half from that bridge. But at the time, I was aware there were two others and I couldn't find them. Well, I think I found them. And they're about four kilometers up here. So this is where we're going. So here we are, probably about three, three and a half kilometers now, beautiful view of the valley. And we know we're on the right road because over here, we've seen our first sign, which says Mycenaean Road. Fantastic, we're on the right route. Here we are. This is the third Mycenaean Bridge. Now, you know what the Archidico Bridge looks like. Um, it's well maintained. Traffic can still go over the top. This is of a similar age, 3,300 years, about 1300 BC, maybe older. And you can see it's overgrown, it's inaccessible, it's ruined, I guess, but it is a Mycenaean Bridge of the same construction as the Archidico Bridge and its twin. And you can see it does still go through. There would have been a road over the top here, which is now washed away. The road is now lower down. But this was where chariots would come thundering across. Maybe, maybe, maybe that water channel there is actually a chariot wheel, but I doubt it. They would have come thundering across here on a road that no longer exists. But very ruined, very ruined now. Next up, I think, is a Mycenaean road. We've been walking on a Mycenaean road anyway, but an untouched, undisturbed Mycenaean road. So just 10 meters up from where we were um, on the new road, you can see the road the bridge still goes and it would have gone through where these bushes are. It would have been much higher, obviously above the stream through there. Um, not, I think that dissimilar to the Archidico bridge in reality um, and probably come out here where all these stones are. But we'll keep going. We're going to see the Mycenaean Road and the second bridge, which I believe is better preserved. I keep saying I'm going to find the Mycenaean Road, but in reality, we are on the Mycenaean Route. They call it Mycenaean Road here. This is the route that three and a half, four thousand years ago, people in Greece were treading. The Argives, Argives, um, what the Mycenaean people called them because they didn't call themselves Mycenaean. We called them Mycenaean. They were known as the Argives. So we've trekked up from the road about 100 meters up the hill. And I believe that this is the original Mycenaean road. We're going to walk along it a little bit and see how it feels. Um, but I'm pretty certain that this is the original Mycenaean road between Epithavros and Mycenae. 
dating back three and a half, even 4,000 years. So it's really interesting because this is a Mycenaean road. Rocks on the right supporting it, but actually this is a pedestrian footpath. The actual road itself is up here. This is the road and it's flat and it's wide and it's stony. You can see the stones maybe, and it comes along next to the footpath. So you can see here, you know, through the gorse and the, these stones, and it was clearly a pebbled road, flat and wide, that ran along here. So walking along this Mycenaean road, I'm just stopping because the vistas, if you like hiking, and you're willing to go off the beaten track, views here are just astonishing over Greece. We're at the back of Mykines now, the other side of the two mountains that flank it. Um, one of the mountains is actually here, just coming into view on the right. They don't look so tall when you're two thirds of the way up. So here we are on the Mycenaean Trail and we got our first glimpse of the fourth and final Mycenaean Bridge. I'm feeling really triumphant now. About 5.3 kilometers from Mycenae itself. So I'll have finally done all four bridges. Let's go down and have a look. Here we are, the Mycenaean Bridge. Now compare and contrast with this, with the Archidico Bridge, which I'll superimpose for a minute. I reckon this one's older. Because if you look, there's no keystone at the top. There's just a narrow slip for the water to come through. And the Arc of the Eco Bridge is 3,300 years old. This could be a lot older. This could be two, 300 years old. And they developed their bridge te building techniques on by the time they did the Arc of the Eco Bridge, which is supposedly the oldest bridge in the world. And I can tell you now, as you'll see in a minute, this bridge is still in use. Yes, you can walk across it. Yes, there is a path across it. So it's still in use. Just amazing. Look at it. It's fabulous. I mean, okay. Maybe there's a rock fall in there nowadays or something, but it's not that different to the Arc of the Eco Bridge. It's just more primitive in its styling and the way in which it's constructed. There is no keystone, as I said, just a narrow slit. Absolutely amazing. So the Mycenaean Road wends its way over the top of this bridge. You get no impression of how big this bridge is until you go down into the culvert. But look at these views. They are fantastic. And this bridge, I think, is older than the Arc of the Eco Bridge. I don't know if you get an impression of the scale of these rocks. They're huge. I mean, two, three metres in length must weigh five, ten, fifteen tonnes. And then just to the right here, and you get these all the way along this road, there's this little culvert, which I originally thought was the bridge. It's not. It's a culvert, you know, directing water under the, the original road from three and a half thousand years ago. It just goes to show they were engineering this road in ways that people hadn't dreamt of before. Look at this. Just amazing. I'm so glad I came here. Just astonishing. Maybe I can show you the scale of these rocks with my hand. I mean, they're just enormous. Enormous. This Mycenaean road just astonishes me because it's an engineering feat. It's akin to building a freeway nowadays. I mean, you have this retaining wall that runs right the way along the length of it. And then, as you've already seen, you've got these bridges and so on, which are just amazing. Um, so I can't recommend it highly enough. If you're a hiker, if you want to do the whole trail, you can go from Mykines right the way down to uh, Epithavros. I think it's about 35 or 40 kilometers. I wouldn't suggest trying to do that in a day though, break it overnight in a village somewhere, but it's fantastic, fantastic hike. And this road just impresses me. So here we are back down towards Mykines. You can see it in the background there. I hope you found this useful. The Mycenaean road is amazing. I would highly recommend it. If you like hiking, if you just want to explore a bit of Mycenaean culture, Greek culture, it's a relatively easy hike. I mean, we'll have done 10 kilometres in total. Um, but do it in the season. Don't do it in August. You'll die, honestly. But I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've some of my other videos. I love exploring these, finding these little offbeat places, which are just so historical. Um, you can go all the way to a bit of us if you want, as I said. So Please watch some of our other videos and thank you for watching this one. I look forward to doing more for you soon. Thank you.